Welcome to St. Augustine Seminary. My name is Father Edwin Gonsalves and I am the rector of the seminary. For over a hundred years, St. Augustine's has been forming men for the Holy Priesthood for the Church in Canada, the United States, Vietnam and other parts of the world. The chapel is the center of our life here at the seminary. It is here that we experience the presence of Jesus who feeds us with his word and his body and blood. As a seminary community, we gather here to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. We gather for adoration, for personal prayer and for devotion. It is in this chapel that our restless hearts find rest in Jesus. Today, the seminarians will sing in honor of Mary, the mother of God. The concert is intended to help fundraise for our chapel restoration. The first phase of restoration will involve the construction and installation of a new altar. The last major renovation to the sanctuary area was done in 1965. We hope and pray that you will enjoy your time with our seminarians as they sing in honor of our Blessed Mother. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Good evening. I am Deacon Patrick Sala. I am in my final year of formation at St. Augustine's Seminary of Toronto, and I am studying for the Archdiocese of Halifax, Yarmouth. It is my delight to be able to conduct this evening's concert. We are blessed at St. Augustine's Seminary to be able to sing the liturgy on a daily basis, to encounter Christ in the sacred mysteries, and to draw from the Church's font the graces and nourishment we need to respond to our vocation. Each semester, we have the opportunity to participate in solemn celebrations of the Liturgy of the Hours and concerts of various kinds. Ordinarily, these would be occasions when we would welcome you, our family, friends, and benefactors to the seminary to share with you a little bit of our St. Augustine's experience. While we are unable to gather in person, we are grateful to be able to connect with you virtually with this evening's concert. Our concert is entitled Songs from the Seminary, an evening of music in honor of our Blessed Mother. As such, the majority of the music will be Marian, and the featured text will be the Ave Maria, the Hail Mary prayer, which is a fundamental Catholic prayer recited and prayed by Catholics throughout the world each and every day. Our program will feature seven settings of the Ave Maria. Four will be sung by choristers and three performed by instrumentalists. You are invited to experience these various expressions much like a meditation on the prayer. Consider how each musical setting highlights a different part of the text for you. Perhaps the prayer will strike you in a new way or with greater profundity. The final pieces will shift in focus from our Blessed Mother to God. They will express confidence in Christ and praise of the Holy Trinity. It is absolutely fitting that we should conclude in this way, for it is exactly what our Blessed Mother wants for us, to God through Mary. Finally, I would invite you to refer to the concert program, which is made available to you digitally. In the program, you will find more information on all of the music being performed this evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for your love and your support and your generosity. Please be praying for us and be assured of our prayers for each and every one of you. God bless.
My name is Adam Pantaleo and I am a seminarian for the Archdiocese of Toronto. This is my sixth year of formation here at St. Augustine's and I'm currently in my third year of theology. For me, the seminary chapel truly is the heart of my formation here at the seminary. It's a beautiful place that I often spend time in each day and it means a lot to me. So I'm very grateful to be able to contribute to this program tonight and to assist with the restoration of the chapel. I'd also like to thank you for your generosity and for your support of this important cause.
Hi there, my name is Deacon Michel Queneville, and I am studying for the Archdiocese of Kingston. I have been calling St. Augustine Seminary my home for the past seven years. There's a saying by the Church Fathers that goes like this, He who sings well prays twice. As you can imagine, prayer is a big part of our life here at the seminary. And singing, chanting, sacred music are all part of that prayer life, that worship that we offer up to God. And today, I'm so thrilled to be able to offer you and to give you a glimpse into that life that we live here at the seminary.
My name is Connor O'Hara, and I'm the president of St. Augustine Seminary and Association. It's been my privilege to serve as president here for the past year. As president, I work closely with all of the seminarians in the day-to-day -day life of the seminary. I represent them to the faculty, and I also oversee some of the activities which are part of our formation. All of the seminarians know that this chapel is at the heart of our formation, but for some time now, the chapel has sorely needed restoration. Rome was not built in a day, and the chapel won't be restored in a single day either. But our day begins here, at the altar, and so it's fitting that our restoration efforts begin there too. So the first phase of these restorations will center around the altar. This is our priority. We envision a new, classically styled altar, which complements the chapel's existing architecture. After this first phase is complete, some of the other areas sorely in need of our attention are the pipe organ, the bell, the pews, and the paintings. More than 100 years of grime have clouded the walls of our chapel. It's my hope that you're able to see the importance of the chapel in our life here at St. Augustine's. That's why we're asking you to support us. Thank you. Laudate Dominum Omnes Gentes. Laudate Eum Omnes Populi. Quoniam confirmata est super nos misericordia Eus. Et veritas Domini.
I hope you enjoyed a program this evening as you journeyed with our seminarians through a concert in honor of our Blessed Mother. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for all your prayers and financial generosity as we work towards ensuring that our chapel can serve the church for another hundred years. To donate, please visit our website at www.staugustins.on.ca slash donate. If you have any questions, please contact our development officer, Samantha Kuhn, by email at skuhn at archtoronto.org or by phone at 416-261-7207, extension 358. Thank you and God bless you.